Hey guys, today's topic of the video is going to be about one of the most important topic in the history of modern literature, which is the characteristic of modern poetry. But before starting, I will suggest you to subscribe to my channel so that you can get all my literature related videos. Also, I am planning to make a series of videos about the history of English literature, about the history of American literature. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel to get these videos in free. Starting with the definition of modernism, what is modernism? Modernism is a literary period that started from the early 1900s till the end of World War II and has a rebellious style of writing against the traditions of the 19th century. Modernism is marked with the rapid change of lives and thinkings of people of the West after World War I and Industrial Revolution. Modernism inspired every aspect of life like philosophy, art, science, architecture, literature, social values, religious ideas and etc. It has a tremendous role in the making or in experimenting new ideas and forms and ways. Moving towards a few uh, features of modernism, modernism rejected religious and conventional values of society. Modernism practiced innovation and experimentation in subjects like themes, writing, forms, new ways and art etc. as the modern uh, artists experimented new shapes, techniques and schemes. The ideas of and ways of life become more progressive in modernism. Modernism is influenced by World War I and industrialization. Moreover, modernism rejected the romantic ideals of emotions and preferred intellect. Ezra Pound's phrase, make it new, gives, a, gives and explains the characteristic novel feature of modernism. Moving towards the definition of modern poetry. Modern poetry is the poetry written in the modern age which is from late 19th century till the mid of 20th century and it contains all the features of modernism. T.S. Eliot is regarded as the father of modern poetry. Moving towards some names of some famous modern poets which are Gertrude Steen, Ezra Pound, T.S. Eliot, Ryder Maria Rilke, Hilda Dolittle, H.D. or you can name her, W.H. Auden, Hart Crane, William Carlos William, Wallace Stevens, uh, William Butler Yeats, aka W.B. Yeats. Moving towards the names of some modern poems, important modern poems, which are, which are T.S. Eliot's The Wasteland. I have also covered the two portions of T.S. Eliot, uh, The Burial of Death and The Game of Chess and the videos on um, the fire sermon is coming very soon. So W.H. Arden's Funeral Blue, T.S. Eliot's The Love Song of Alfred J. Portfrock, the video on The Love Song of J. Alfred Portfrock is coming in August. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. In a Station of Metro by Ezra Pound, Leaves of Grass by the Walt Whitman. I have also covered the biography on Walt Whitman. William Carlos Williams, The Hollow Man by T.S. Eliot and William Carlos Williams' important poem, This is Just to Say. Moving towards the main topic of this video, characteristic of modern poetry. The poetry of modern era presents, represents the scattered, disillusioned and fragmented societies left by World War I. New poetic forms, styles, themes and language are employed in modern poetry and this is experimentation of new forms, ideas, styles, themes and language. Fragmentation is a major feature of modern poetry. In modern poetry, you will find every image fragmented like in poem The Wasteland and the Love Song by of J. Alfred Putfrock written by T.S. Eliot. Writers use free words. This and this for uh, this is a form of poetry against the um, traditions of the 19th century poetry. 19th century poetry was actually very elaborated, 
very highly knitted uh, but uh, modern poetry take a break from the traditions of 19th century poetry alienation individualism and disillusionment are very important features of modern poetry and T.S. Eliot's V.S. Wasteland and the love song of J. Alfred Putfrog are the best examples. Imagism is the characteristic feature of modern poetry. These poems are short, direct uh, and clear and economic, ec economic in words. Ezra Pound's poem in, our, in the station of the metro is famous in this regard. Modern poetry is from is fa famous for its free flowing and unembellished and non linear style. Modern poetry reflects the condition of modern man who is isolated in the individualized society. Symbolism and imagery are major features of this poetry. There is no exact and sharp meaning of the text of a poem, but varies from reader to reader as there are multiple, multiple interpretations of a single verse. There is a kind of pessimism and despair in these poems. Modern poetry focuses mainly on the problems of the modern man. Political, social and existential problems are discussed in the poems. Problems of the lower class human are highly mentioned. There is a lot of ambiguity in the modern poems like just, just like in the love song of J. Alfred Putfrog. Language used in, is, in these poems are, is, not, is not artificial, rather it is simple and common. Like T.S. Eliot, many other modern poets are open to use lower and prohibited class of society like prostitutes. Um, beggars and other ugly features of society. Uh, modern poetry also carries themes of secular analytical theory like theory presented by Sigmund Freud in the late 19th century. These poems are loaded with allusions and, espe and especially the Greek and Roman mytho myth mythologies. These poems are highly intellectual as these poems ref prefer intellect over emotions and are sophisticated like the poems of T.S. Eliot. Thanks for watching. I hope you like or dislike this video. Also comment in the comment box for further inquiry and also subscribe to my channel if you like this video anytime. Thank you.